Aipo has succeeded in dragging Trump to his doom. Chigozirum reacts yesterday to Trump's ordeal. The truth is that the political situation caused by the type of behavior displayed by the President of the United States of America after the presidential election which he lost to his opponent, Joseph Biden, has opened everyone's mouth to talk about democracy in that country and those supporting him all over the world. Although Trump was supported by a lot of people during and after the election, but the number wasn't just enough for him to emerge winner of the polls. In and outside the US between those who can't vote and those who can vote for him. Many wishes he wins the election which has already turned out against him. In fact, there is hardly a country where Trump did not have supporters during and after the polls. In Nigeria, for instance, the situation is the same. Why many did not like him and were praying against him not to win the election, many others, including members of indigenous people of Biafra Ipo, were strongly behind him in prayers. To surprise you further, if you weren't aware, there was a church that had a rally for him shortly before the election was held late last year in the state. This support from IPOP and others to Trump, which was made public before the election, have forced many people, including a Facebook user, Chigo Zerum, into making mockery Facebook posts about these Nigerian supporters to the outgoing U.S. Nigerian supporters to the outgoing U.S. president. According to Chigo Zerum in the post he made last night on Facebook, IPOP have succeeded in hailing and supporting Donald Trump into trouble as if IPOP were the one that told Trump not to accept the poll results initially. Chigo Zerum jokingly states in a post that IPOP may be prosecuted after handing over to Biden just because IPOP supported his second term bid. Recall that pro-Trump protesters stormed Capitol Hills, the venue of the U.S. Congress when the lawmakers were in section to certify the victory of Joseph Biden days ago. The protesters who did not want the election results to stand disrupted the sitting and caused the lawmakers to escape for their dear lives. As a result of the invasion, lives has already been reported lost. In the country. The crisis has already created an impression that Trump may be tried or prosecuted after handing over to the president-elect. You may equally recall that Trump, who has been kicking against the election results and has once said that he will never hand over power to the president-elect, finally accepted to hand over power to Biden after the disgraceful act from his supporters. Thank you for listening to this news. Um, Mr. Writer, I think you are very, very confused. You are confused. You understand? Confused in the sense that I pop at first. At first, I pop was never in support of Trump. Do you understand? Trump single-handedly dragged himself to the ditch where he is right now. His stubbornness, his stubbornness and big mouth, big mouthness is what dragged them to the ditch where he is as we speak. Nobody supported is done for do you understand and besides i pop was not in support of any trump they did not canvas for him do you understand they namdekanu only attended his rally 
and that was the photo you people saw him snap with Donald Trump to let you people know that Donald Trump supports the Biafran agitation. That um, photo you saw with Nam the Kanu was a support. Donald Trump was showing to Nigerians that he is strongly in support of IPOP. And you can hear Donald Trump make a statement, make a statement warning the President Momo Buhari to quicken the Biafran freedom or else. You understand? That was what happened. IPOP was not in support of Trump. Do you understand? Okay? So, I don't know where Chigozirum got his own um, assertion or and point of view. If you watch it very well, you will see that um, Donald Trump, you will see that Donald Trump lost so much in the, in the, in the black man states in America. Why? Why? Because he was so much full of himself. His confidence was so much on high. He was so much on high. And the threat he gave the, the blacks was too much. You can imagine Donald Trump threatening the black, threatening to deport them as soon as it comes back for the second time. That all those blacks that came into the country uh, just because of naturalization, all of them are going to be deported. You know, you tell me, are you if you're a black, are you going to support him? They are the ones that 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 uh, plotted his removal. If not, Donald Trump would have won the election. He would have won the election, and that serves him right. I am not sympathizing with. He used to be my very good fan. He used to be my very good fan, but the moment he, he uttered that statement, I became so angry. I became so angry and um, couldn't even look at his face. Even when it is shedding tears, that is his own problem. That is what it cost for himself. That was the cost for himself. You understand? So, Donald Trump is the cause of his problem. Is the cause of his problem, is the cause of his downfall. Is the cause of his of his downfall. You understand? So I don't want us to start thinking otherwise. I don't want us to start thinking otherwise. It, um, any group or person that I pop support, that person is bound to win. It is not by boasting. And that is why, as we speak now, Igbo presidency in Nigeria is at a very high shaking level. It's seriously shaking. The last time Bangboshi called in the Igbo and the Igbo governors that look, you people are wasting your time because without the involvement of IPOP and Nnamdi Kanun, I tell you, you people will not be able to achieve your Igbo presidency. Yes, now, <laughs> my viewers, what's your take on this matter? Please deem it free to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.